Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. John Robinson, the Titans general manager, was fired, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. And this is becoming a common trend that things do not make sense to me whatsoever. But this one really doesn't make sense. And I know I've said that part before as well. The reason this is so shocking is because the Titans have three wins on the next place in Which their division. The Colts and the Jaguars. The Colts have a tie, so technically they're ahead. But they have three more wins. They should win this division, no question about it, unless they do something awful and either the Colts or Jaguars go on a huge winning streak and don't lose anymore. Meanwhile, the Titans start losing like crazy then the Titans have this division. So it makes no sense that they would go out and fire their general manager. They're a good team, and they've been good with him. He's built up a good defense over time. It's taken a while. They had a bad defense for the first couple of years. But now they have an elite defense with Jeffrey Simmons leading the way. You've also got Bud Dupree, who hasn't been amazing on his contract. Harold Laundrie, who's injured right now. Zach Cunningham, who's been surprisingly good this year. He was fine in Houston, but never amazing. As well as elite safety, Kevin Biard. So this defense is elite now. You've also got a pretty solid offense, although with the A.J. Brown trade, which I'll get into a bit more later, and I will leave the link to the video I made about it in the description, it is a bit lacking. But you've still got arguably the best running back in the league, King Henry. Then you got a solid quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. Robert Woods is a fine wide receiver, and Traylon Burks hasn't done anything yet, but who knows? He does have plenty of potential. The offensive line is lacking, but even still, that should not get a general manager fired. Some have theorized that the reason John Robinson has been fired was because of how bad the A.J. Brown trade has worked out for them. A.J. Brown was a young and up-and-coming receiver who they had the money to pay, and yet they decided not to pay him, and for some reason they decided to trade him to Philadelphia, where he's excelled even more with Jalen Hurts and the Eagles this year, and he just finished kicking his old team's butts. Also, in return, all they got was a first-round pick, which doesn't seem bad. I mean, Devontae Adams just got a first-round pick. And same thing for Tyree Kill. Both are significantly better, or were before the season started. But they used that first round pick on Traylon Burks, who, as I mentioned, has not really worked out. And you're making a receiver for a receiver swap. You know you need a receiver. So why would you trade away your receiver to get a new receiver? And Traylon Burks, I never expected to be an upgrade. You don't get players like AJ Brown very often. There is not a high percentage that when you draft someone, they're going to be a superstar. If they're a higher up pick, then they're more likely to be. And don't get me wrong, Traylon Burks had the potential. But there's nothing that was saying, oh yeah, this guy is a surefire superstar. So I wouldn't have traded away a guy I know is a superstar, and I could have paid. He didn't even ask for that huge of a contract. I mean, it was fairly large, but based on his production this year, it was well worth it for the Eagles. But instead, the Titans went for Traylon Burks, who, again, I don't think was go ever going to be any better than A.J. Brown. And I still don't think that. So I do not get what John Robinson was thinking for that trade, but it seems like a weird reason to fire someone. Because, again, Titans are doing pretty well this year. I mean, not amazing, but they should win this division. So just because one bad trade lagged him down doesn't mean he deserves to get fired. Plenty of GMs have terrible trades or terrible signings. Some of the greatest GMs of all time do, but they can get over that and they can still win their division like the Titans seem to be doing. So if you ask me, there is trouble. Something, maybe it's never going to come out, maybe it's about to come out in the next hour. What I know is is that there is trouble with the Titans. Maybe he's not getting along with the owners. Maybe he's 
bad when he's in the locker room, which isn't very often because he's not a player or a coach. And maybe he did some crime that we don't know about yet. Maybe that's about to come out. Or maybe we'll never find out. But something went wrong with him and the Titans. So he had to go. That was the only reason they fired him. They don't fire a guy for just making one bad trade. You fire him because he did something very wrong. Maybe something like John Gruden did last year. He was fired mid-season. Because it's rare that you fire a guy mid-season. Especially a general manager. General managers almost always get the full year. Coaches, sometimes they get fired mid-season if they're really bad and the team thinks they can salvage that season. But general managers always get the full year. Because what's a general manager going to do if they're not there mid-season? So... I do not comprehend why John Robinson was fired yet, but who knows, maybe that news is about to come out. Maybe it will never come out, but we'll have to watch. If teams jump to hire John Robinson, then it'll be interesting. We don't know what went on, because it's obviously not a crime if they're going to hire him, or maybe they don't know about the crime, but you'd think by then everyone would know about the crime. So we'll have to see, but for now, no one has any idea why John Robinson was fired. All I can say is that it was not because of the A.J. Brown trade. Thanks for watching. <laughs>